I just don't see color. You know, I think Rachel Dolezal is brave. Transracialism is I the want future. my kids to have ethnic names, like Jamal or Dante. One day I think I'm going to adopt a Ugandan kid. I mean, I just want to end Listen, racism. Listen, Brad, the fact of the matter is, is that Friends is a homophobic, racist show. I mean, I'm ashamed of myself for ever having watched it. Oh, no, I agree. Hey, uh, Jasmine. Yeah? Well, I was just wondering, as a black woman, what's your opinion on Friends? Oh, I... I mean, I want to go to the protest this weekend, the boycott against Netflix. It's getting free catering by the Juice Moose. I only use Netflix for the documentary social commentary anyway. <laughs> Did you see that new Ava DuVernay piece? God. She's my queen. <laughs> don't mind, friends. Um, how can you be okay with friends? I am appalled that you don't recognize the violence of that it's show. Just a show. I don't how can you be so blind to oppression? Jasmine, listen. As a Jewish man, I feel like I have life experiences similar to yours. He struggles with his identity every day. Such a burden. Hey, sorry I'm late, class. First things first, in case any of y'all missed the email, the department scholarship contest closes this week. Please remember to recycle. I won't have any enemies of the earth here. Now. The essay question is one I'm sure all of you can answer. What is the largest issue facing black women today? I got this. First prize is the same as last year. Full scholarship to a Columbia Summer Institute. I encourage all of you to write, but especially our three-time champ. Now to business. I'd like to discuss what we talked about in lecture, about the depiction of slavery throughout Beloved. Do we agree, disagree, have more examples? Grace? I think it has something to do with this idea of masculinity in the black community. Oh, totally. Of course, I can't speak to that directly myself, but I really have been deepening my allyship. <laughs> Topher. Brad. Can I say something? I called on Brad. <laughs> Jasmine. After he's done speaking. My name is Jasmine. Internalized assimilation. So sad. Anyway, you were saying, Brad? Understand. Think of it as a visibility cloak. You stay who you are on the inside, but the outside of you has changed. It's hard for you to believe, Jasmine, but I know you. I was you for a while. This is exactly what you need. Don't tell me what I need. You're sick of it! I can see it on you. You're sick of it. Why deal? It's what we go through every day. It doesn't have to be, though. This is my boyfriend. And this is a surprise party my sorority sisters threw for me. And that's a pic of my acceptance letter. 
the Harvard Symposium on Women, Gender, and Sexuality in the Postmodern Era. You're going. I'm speaking. Listen, Jazz, it's fun and it pays. You want this, don't you? I don't care about it. That. Some BS, I saw you looking at it. What's the problem? Let me guess. You never made it past the interview room. With this, that won't be a problem. What does it taste like? The blandest thing you've ever tasted. All it takes is one drop of this. I'll be visible. As visible as I am. Like Lee says, Medea's funny. I know, I didn't want to admit it, but I think after this interview that I saw, I'm willing to forgive. Oh, Jane! Jane. <laughs> we were just talking about how happy we are that you switched in our discussion a few weeks ago. I just love your hot takes. I, I feel like I have so much more balance in my life now that I've forgiven friends. I mean, same. Uh, honestly, I've never met anyone as woke as you. Um, which podcast do you listen to? Hello, class. I just came from the Zora Neale Hurston contest deliberations, and no, technically I'm not supposed to do this, but I wanted us to be the first to congratulate our new winner. Drum roll, if you please. The winner is our very own Jane Brown. You'll never get ahead in life being who you are now. You owe this all to yourself. And just imagine how it must feel. Being seen. Being present. Being visible. <laughs> 